or else hit that alarm. That? It's just a peacock mandated pack alarm. It's programmed to go off when anything bad happens. No big deal. Yeah, I guess we should go check that out. Fine! Let's go. Total protonic reversal looks like. You know, no matter how many times you tell them not to cross the streams, they never listen. I got to put the help one out when I get back to HQ. All right, guys, help me grab the gear. We'll uh, recalibrate it, make any repairs back at HQ. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. All right, thanks for calling. Hey, who was that? They didn't say. Is this good as New Jersey? It is. Uh, I hear about the job ad in the paper. Okay, hold on a minute. Let me let me page them. There's some guy here about the job. Hi, I'm Dr. Malkin. This is, uh, Andrew. Just the two of you? I thought there were more members of the GBNJ. Well, the, there were, and the other day they were, um, well, they left. Yes, left. legally speaking, they just left. And, uh, Dr. McHugh's in the back. Dr. Who? No, 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 he's British. I'm talking about Dr. Greg McHugh, the new appointed president of our organization. But don't worry about that. Let's... Let's go get this interview started. Yeah. Well, uh, we are moderately impressed with your resume. I mean, it's not the best resume we ever seen. It's it's all right, but um, anyway, there's just a few other corporate mandated questions that uh, Andrew has for you. One. Do you have a valid driver's license? Uh, yeah, Class A. Perfect. Do you believe in UFOs, astral projection, mental telepathy, ESP, clairvoyance, spirit photography, telekinetic movement, full trans mediums, the Loch Ness Monster, and the Theory of Atlantis? Yeah, that's what takes a guy hired. Wonderful. Lastly, and the answer is always no, but we're required by corporate to ask. Do you happen to own Antique ambulance? Yeah, I do. Wait, did, did you say yes? Yeah, yeah, I did. Are you by any chance uh, willing to convert it to an ectomobile, or is it already an ectomobile? Yeah, it's, it's already converted. Oh, <laughs> alright. Um, does it have a ghost sniffer? Uh, yeah. Is it reliable? I mean, does it, does it run? Yeah, I maintain everything myself, so it's good to go. Is it, um... Is it a 59 Caddy? Uh, no. no. Is it, uh, uh, what color is it? Uh, it's white with some, uh, calls and striping and, you know, red fins. <laughs> I think you're hired! I probably should see if you have any questions for us, though. I guess just the one, uh, I thought you guys already had an ectomobile, too. Ooh, well, you see, the thing about that is it, um... It uh, yeah, broke down on the Jersey Turnpike, and we kind of left it there. Yeah. All right. I think we're good here. Let's uh, go take it back and introduce you to Greg. Hey! Where's Greg? Working in the back on the act out. Thanks. Right this way. Hey, Greg. I want to introduce you to our uh, first hire since the incident. Yeah, yeah, I'll be right with you. I'm just putting the ghost sniffer on our new Ecto. What do you guys think? I think it would have been awesome until about five minutes ago. What happened five minutes ago? 
Oh, I'd like to introduce you to Adam here, who has an Ecto! Really? Is it a 59 Caddy? No. No, but, but get this. It's white, it's reliable, has red fins, and caution striping. Hot damn, let's go check that out. Hi, I assume you're the Ghostbusters of New Jersey? Who gives you an idea, and who the heck are you? Well, mostly the uh, ridiculous car I walked past back there in the, the uniforms. Uh, pardon, but uh, my name's Dr. Martin Ingenbrand. I'm here about the job that I read about online. We just hired Mr. Botley here, and I don't think we have any more openings. Uh, actually, we did have one more opening. Why don't I go take this guy upstairs and check him out? I mean, why don't I just go give him an interview real quick? All right, you do that. Come We're going to go check out the car. Yeah. All right, let's see what we have here. Human biology, good. Applied parapsychology. Social sciences specializing in the occult. This is a this is a pretty impressive resume, Dr. Hingenberg. Um, Martin's fine. You can call me Martin. Okay, Martin. <sighs> Wait, why am I getting the weirdest feeling of deja vu? I don't know. Where, where was I? Um, anyway, I can see your resume is several pages long and has a lot of big words. Mm -hmm. So I assume that means you're more than qualified. So let's skip our questions and... Uh, you have any for me? Uh, just a couple. Uh, what's the salary for this position? Eleven five a year. All right. Um, you offer benefits? Uh, you know the typical uh, basic health insurance plan. Uh, does that include dental? Of course. We're not savages. Great. So did did I get the job? Well, seeing as you were the only other applicant. Hey. I sent the new guy home. He, uh, it was getting late, and I told him to come back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Good. Uh, this is Dr. Ingenbert or something? I just, we... Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. His application seems really good. Bill? Yeah, what's up? Can I talk to you for a minute, please, in private? All right, let's... Just, just be one second. Yeah, okay, what'd you want? That guy kind of looked like... Martin Scythrall, the Nazi tried for the business. Dude, that guy's got a way different beard. You're way off. I don't know, Bill. Just why not ask him if he's Scythrall? I think this is stupid, but all right. Uh, Dr. Engelbert, uh, one last question. It is completely standard. It's a um, corporate mandate. I hope you understand. Um, by any chance, do you happen to be a Nazi who has the spirit of his grandfather uh, trying to possess him to bring about the final solution and run us out of business uh, by resurrecting the ghost of Hitler? No. 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 100%. 110% no. That guy, I saw pictures of him in the paper. I read a couple articles about him. Um, he had like a crazy beard, as you as you can see. I keep myself way more trim and clean cut than he does. Um, he he also had a lot of really radical ideas, you know, like out in left field. Um, he he thought that the galaxy was better under imperial rule and that Leia was evil in Star Wars. I mean, who thinks of stuff like that? I mean, obviously, uh, what I heard anyway, from what I hear, that's what he thought. Obviously, I'm not him. That's just crazy. See? Totally not the same guy. All right. I guess I trust your judgment. All right. Uh, you got the job. Deport here Excellent. tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Nine! I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I, I have a doctor's appointment at 8. I can't be here until at least 9. Nine. That's fine. Uh, yeah, just show up when you can. Okay.